Hey guys, this is Man Shark Sub LPs. I'm Sub, this is Crusader Kings 2, and this is episode 154 of our Long Live the King playthrough. We are, of course, Filkia Sigadar Ring, the uh, universally hated, immortal, disfigured, stressed out ruler of all of Scandinavia. We're also insane, but you know, whatever. And we're currently at war with this guy, just for this one province here. We're not going to lose that war. Uh, we're getting these guys to come back up here so they can get on the boats and sort of go home a little bit. Because we need to address Europe. A little bit. Stables built in Tornsfall. Good on them. Excuse me. Call in his two allies, that's fine. So where are they even from? There and there. That's not an issue. Alright, you boys, back on a boat. Then we're going to take you up north. Siberia is our first target, I guess we'll call it. Get it out of the way. And then we'll start marching around these little places. Uh, and needs to get married. Oh, looks like we've got a new heir, actually. Well, yeah, she's actually pretty good. Who can we marry you to? Well, we don't really have anybody who's genetically amazing. She's attractive. Do we have any other attractives? No, we don't. Great. Well, how would you like to marry this guy? He's a bastard, so we can do it matrilineally. Yay. Oh, we've got a Byzantine revolt. We've got a Byzantine revolt. Okay, okay. Um, this is important. What's it for? Lowering crown authority. So it's a shitty Byzantine revolt that doesn't really mean anything. We could use it to take the Canaries. Not the Canaries, uh, Mallorca. Or we could use it to get some shit which actually matters. Wow, why are those three all in different spaces? Uh, let's see. You... Oh wow, she's got dysentery as well as everything else. You're just not in a bad way, are you? Not in a good way, sorry. Alright, we've got a bunch of claims that we could make. I don't want to make claims. Claim, okay, Holy War and Aegean Isles. Alania's got three provinces. Albania's got, is that three? Yep, but they're sort of off-center. Crimea is one. Cyprus is one. Mallorca is all of that. I think there's two there. It was Mallorca, Mallorca, and Menorca. Yep. Uh, Moldau, which is actually... Actually not that bad. Yeah, because we're going to be taking Sabir anyway, so... Yeah, that's not terrible. Also, we're going to be chaining through Poland anyway. So that was Moldau. What's next? Mordva? Where the fuck is that? Oh, up here. Right there. Okay, that's whatever. Uh, Nakea, which is down here, this bit in here. It's just one province in there. Paphlagonia, which is that. Paraslavl, which is that bit there. Solano, which from memory is over here somewhere. Oh, no, here it is. It's a mouthy, right. Uh, Slavonia, which is that bit there. Syria, one province down there. Thracia, Trebizond, and that's it. Then the various de jure claims and that sort of rubbish. Well, fuck all of that. We'll go for a holy war for um, Moldau. 
when we get the boats up there. How many troops does she have? 34,000. And how many troops does he have? 36,000. All right. So hopefully this war here ends fairly quickly and we'll be able to uh, reinforce our dudes. Good. Need a new commander. It's her. I don't think we kicked anybody out of an army. We did not. Wonderful. Nice. So we're at 55% there. That's really good. Okay, boats are in position. Let's do it. Um, fret. Oh, she's a rebel. It doesn't matter. Moldau. Go. Land. We could land there and then move across, but this is actually quicker. The Byzantine armies are hanging around a bit. That's fine for now. Just keep an eye on it because the Byzantines are, well, vicious. They've got a lot of troops. Got my wife pregnant again. <laughs> we just converted Mecca to Germanic. There we go. That'll provide even more problems for these guys. Yep, 17.6. Better than it was last, like a while ago. A while ago, it was like free. Bohemia just joined in the fight. Okay, that's a little bit significant, meaning that we can sort of trash Bohemia a little bit. Um, how many troops do you have, Bohemia? 16,000. Call in our buddies, the Yom Vikings. <laughs> Um, also, let's see, I don't want to raise all troops ever because that's actually kind of frustrating. Wasn't there a, um, a shortcut for this? Yeah, Zed, lovely. So we just start raising up troops that aren't in my domain. All right, what do we got there? That's 13,000. All right, gather them up there. Send the Yom Vikings down to them. I won't take myself... Actually, I will take myself out of the Yom Vikings right now because this is kind of annoying. Um, so 20,000 should be able to deal with them, but we'll also raise up some down here just for shits and giggles. How many is that? 12. A few more. 15.8, that should be fine. Pull myself out of that army. How many did we say that they had? 16? Yeah. So that'll be able to handle Bohemia. Now let's get ourselves a little bit more force to deal with these fuckers. Oops, I was hitting the wrong button. I was hitting X instead of Z. Alright, that's 7,000. That's 10,000. All right, I think that's a good enough supply or reinforcement force. And of course, we need to take ourselves out of that army. Done. Victory in that siege down there. Yep, great. Okay, they're headed to Crimea, they're headed to Peresion. That's fine. I don't care about those places. This does, of course, mean we won't be able to declare war on little guys until, um, until that's all sorted out. 
but that's cool. Just have a look at her other war. Yeah, the Basilius is winning it. That's her army right there. So they headed down to Galaz. That's cool. As we start taking land. Thank you. Oh no, that's this one over here. That's fine as well. 79% there. We're getting a tick and war score? We are. Beautiful. Might try to steal this land as well with this, this part of the army up here that we're moving down to reinforce. There's that one. So now we've finally got some percentage. And the rest of those should fall in line fairly swiftly. Whatever. All right, these guys are together. Thank you very much. Um, I don't think I've got a commander for you though. So, I mean, shit sucks, but you know, I'm sure you'll deal with it. Uh, we're gonna try and put them somewhere where they might actually have like decent supply though. Which means we need to march them all. Actually, we'll march them down here to these Byzantine areas and just keep an eye on them. Yeah, these Byzantine revolt areas. Nice and fun. Finished our economy study, so let's get right back in on that. And honestly, these guys could probably take Amalfi first. We'll have them take Amalfi first. Alright, let's get these boats. Hmm... I'm not too sure if these guys are quite ready yet. They're not. Don't worry about the boats for now. Irrelevant detail. Did he join in the other war as well? No, just my one. I don't care about that heresy. Or that heresy. It's a failing of the Sunni religion, not uh, not my own. All right, this army's together, so we're going to go and smash them down into Bohemia. Um, they are a little bit too big, but you know, whatever. And we're going to try and put the war chief in charge of all of that because, I mean, he's got the troops for it. Yeah, and we're actually going to march him around that way and then in like that because supply limits. Oh, we lost our court chaplain. Shame, but, you know, whatever. Um... Well, all of our stuff's good. But we still need to convert some of these places, so proselytize right there. Those guys are moving to Belagorod? Ah, yep, that's fine. It's actually good. We might be able to stage an ambush. Yep, we're staging this ambush so that we actually get a uh, military victory over these guys. Oh, look at that. That's an interesting place to come on over. In fact, it is so interesting. Yeah, I can't go through those provinces. Because there's also consumption in the area. They're losing a lot of troops every month due to that. I'm fine with them doing that, I think. Yeah, only 4.8%. We're probably going to have a better time of it up there. We'll see how it goes. Could be funny. Oh, looks like someone died. 
one of my commanders. One that was somewhat important. All right. And now we need to get a new guardian for this child. Military it is. Wrong thing to click. There we go. Thank you, Paulstein. All right. These guys are still progressing as normal. Wonderful. All right. 31st of March. 1st of April. Let's have you. Uh, victory down here, that's 90%. Keep it coming. These guys are moving. Okay, good. Only 3.9, but that's okay because um, it does give us an actual battle win. And I consider that a major battle, but, you know, we'll see what they think. What are you guys at war with? Okay. Interesting. The Knights Templar are basically defending in the Holy War, in a uh, Holdings War, which is good because that's another war we won't have to prosecute against the Knights Templar. All right, we're back to besieging this place. Um, what are you guys doing? These guys look like they're coming down to stop that. Well, that's concerning. Upper Cilicia, Upper Cilicia. Is that this one over here? Yeah, it is, isn't it? Any troops in Olvia? They don't, they're not necessary right now. That's Olvia as well, but I want him to stay there because he's the um, dude. And we'll put Christina in there as well. So they're missing a guy. These guys are missing a guy, but it shouldn't be too important. What's important is that these guys are fully stocked, so that when these guys decide to come down, it might not be a complete clusterfuck. Ah, quick one. Nice. Looks like they're going around anyway. We lost Halstein. Don't know if that was my loss of Halstein or whatever. And we got a peasant revolt in Ferez, which is where? Right there. They're already getting attacked. That's fine. Yeah, 8,000 dudes should be able to put them down, get them out of the army. We might go with completely overwhelming force just to be on the safe side. Where's that Bohemian army fucked off to? They were fairly sizable. Yep, wonderful. And the last one. Wonderful. Okay, I'm going to wait for these guys to move on. Because they might try and come back in if I let them, you know, move weird or something like that. Oh, hello, you pricks. So that army decided that it wanted to... Um, basically, the peasants were real pricks and decided to move out which is unusual so i'm going to decide to move in um let's see ferez 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 you do get a penalty attacking from Auvergne, bourbon 
What about into bourbon from Auvergne? No. Okay, good. So we'll try and stop their movement. We did not stop their movement. That's fine. Uh, let's get the guys out of um, Kufa. Yeah, that'll do. They can go in and beat the shit out of them. Yeah, I have no idea where that, that um, Bohemian army went. A little odd. All right, now we move these guys into Olshai. Good, and they stopped moving as well. Okay, this continues to go all right. Is that a trade post? Yep. 98%. Just, yep, thank you. Going to start moving these guys toward the border. And that means we'll bring the boats down. There's the Bohemian army. God damn. It's a big fucking army. Nope. All right, we got that county. Thank you very much. Let's divvy it up. And then can we make the duchy? We can, the duchy of Nefaud. There we go. Create. Done. This guy gets the lot. They are, mate. Pleasure doing business with you. We've got a battle over here. It's just for peasants. And they have, of course, we're getting a lot of heresy appearing just because we've been taking a lot of Sunni held land. And they're having a bit of an issue, as it were, with moral authority. All right, peasants are beaten. Go away. Thank you. Thank you. Will you accept defeat yet? Because that'd be real nice. You won't. All right, cool. You guys can have Gandalf here. You guys are doing what you do. You guys are doing what you do. And you guys over here... You can have Porcine back, and I think that's kind of it for the moment. Yeah, so just get over there and we'll be fine. Cool, cool, whatever. Uh, these guys have finished up their conquest, so we're going to move them down this way. Supply limits, 14, 12. Yeah, so we'll take that one first because it's less taxing on us. Diplomacy for you. Good. I don't think that gives us any bonus. Praha? Nope, but it's fun. Okay, they're going to Perishin on the 4th. Probably because they're going to try and come around there to that one. Well, you know what? Fuck them. They ain't going to move out of that in time. Call a court physician. Good. At least we know where the Bohemians are now. They're right here for some reason. Good. We got that siege underway and took it. That should give us a little bit more. These guys are doing their job admirably. That was a nice little 3% or something like that. Yeah, we're still going to go up to our Torquay instead of uh, Berlad.
if we declare war on Siberia, we could just sit in there and grab it real quick. But um, no, we want to get this war out of the way fast. Just build a few things. A few castle shipyards. Oh, these guys can use the stables. And Torn's Fall. Yeah, you'll be you'll be right, Torn's Fall. There's a big battle there between the um, Byzantines and the rebels. It's 46%. Shouldn't be giving up on that. Yeah, we are taking a fairly significant amount of attrition from that, but not enough to be like overly concerned about. Which is good because it sucks to have to be overly concerned about attrition. Good. Yeah, this force is probably going to try and come up here and relieve that. Hang on, what did you just get, Cairo? Not noticing any big change unless it was this one. It was this one. Nice. Good work. That's, um, I don't think it's part of a trade zone, but oh, hey, look, the trade zones are all open. Very nicely done. Yeah, nice. So if we get Sana, we get a little bit more of that trade, but then we've got to keep on like hop skipping, which is fine. We can do that. Oh, I'm feeling good about this. Really don't know what that Bohemian army thinks it's up to. These guys are in position. Good, get on the boats. And I'm going to drag you all the way up here. Oh yeah, so they're going to try and re-besiege that. That's fine. We we'll continue on with our sieges in Amalfi. Just kosher. Peace. In fact, a full surrender. I'm surprised. Also amused. Of course, now we've got to drop all those guys and then go to war with Sabir, but you know. Hey, there's a barony in that one. Nice. And a barony in this one too. I wonder if we can take the duchy title. Yeah, we absolutely can. Done. Thank you. So now we can actually run a du jour campaign on him instead of any of the weird shit. How are you, Paul Branda? You're kind of average. What about you, Rain? You're better than Paul Branda, so, you know, good on you. You're now Jarl of Muldau. Right, so that's opened up a few opportunities. Well, I say that, but really we need to get all our troops down first. Um, what we will do, just to, you know, deal with that, infamy minus 100. I know that ambition's going to be peace, which... Fuck peace. To see if anybody's in stabbing mood today. Yep, the Yarl of Kapua. Stop that. All right. Yeah, whatever. All right, these troops go down. These troops go down. These troops go down. So now we should actually have, you know, troops of these guys now. Wonderful. Okay. Well, it's just a du jour claim. He does have allies. But while he has allies, we can also attack Wallachia at the same time. Um, and that's just going to be a... Hang on, he has land over there? Huh, he owns a barony in that place. Well, I guess it's a holy war then. 
Wait, what religion are you? Catholic. Yeah, it's a holy war. Boom. Okay, so we're with Sabir and Wallachia. Um, that's fine. I'll send these guys down to deal with Wallachia first. And these guys are going to come up here and dock there and move over into Sabir for us. And that'll actually let us start eating away at the bottom end of... Um, of what do you call it? Bohemia, should we so desire, which we do eventually. Cool. Wonderful. Don't care. All right, this army into Sabir. He isn't even raising up his troops. He knows he's done. Um, yeah, we found the killer butchering guys and he's perforated by arrows when he tried to escape. Seems the peasant we had imprisoned uh, was actually innocent, so we'll set him free. Whatever, we couldn't know. When our guys get into this land over here, we'll then end the episode because is that time yet again? I don't care about 3,000 dudes roaming around on my land. All right, so let's end the episode there. So uh, with that, you all know I've been sub, you've been yourselves. Later.